You're listening to Hotep Ish with your host, Dewan B. Intelligent Ish Talk, Intelligent Shit Talk, where we balance the profound with the profane. Political satire, celebrity and expert guests, information and entertainment, conversation and solutions. Leave your feelings at the door. got Dr. Short with us here today, but before we do get started, watch this commercial and then we will be right back with Dr. Randy Short. The Black History Commercial, take one, and it comes the two to the three and four. Hold up. Celebrate our warriors and scholars. Black history on a t-shirt. Black people don't owe anybody anything but an ass whooping. Yep. Mothers of the movement, our scholars. Instead of wearing a sports jersey with someone else's name on your back, celebrate our leader's name on your chest. Say it with your chest. Get yours now at hotepfish.com forward slash shop. Free shipping on all orders over $75. Also, get your Black American Music Family Tree at incenseandashtrays.com forward slash shop. 400 years of music created here in North America exclusively by Black Americans on one piece of artwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now... I know it's a little backwards. It's a little backwards. Yeah, you, you gotta go to two different websites. That's because the server and server and those kind of bullshit back end technical issues. But thewanbeat.com is coming real soon, and you'll be able to get everything in one place at thewanbeat.com. Without any further ado, we will yeah, get our guest like up in here. What's up, Doctor Randy Short? How's it going? Yeah, you should get everything in one place. That sounds like Kamala. Right, right. Before we get in on Kamala, before we get in, because I want to do this before, cause I, before I forget, I want to say rest in peace to Wayne Shorter. Yes. Wayne Shorter is one of the greatest saxophonists of all time. And... Mm -hmm. He comes in, he's directly in the lineage of Charlie Parker, John Coltrane, Wayne mm -hmm. Shorter. They came in that order. Wayne Shorter lived a long life, unlike a lot of our uh, greats of the past, of the 50s and the 60s. He lived a full life. And not only was he a great front man, but he's also, to me, I always called him the best number two on the planet of any instrument. Because Wayne Shorter knew how to come in and flower your song and make you look better as a lead. Wayne Shorter with Miles Davis, Rain Shorter with Herbie Hancock, Wayne Shorter with Steely Dan, Rain Shorter with Stevie Wonder. Like, no matter where Wayne Shorter was, the music was always a little bit better. You got any memories of Wayne Shorter, Dr. Short, before we get started? Uh, no, but I like all the artists that you described. So if he's in the mix, God bless him. I mean, I love jazz, especially with all this hip hop out here. Yeah, I need to buy some jazz. <laughs> Stop listening to the bad hip hop. Listen to some real music. You know, in fact, the same way we used to have good music, now we have bad music. Now we're going from real women to trans. So de trans your music. Start listening to some real stuff, real acoustic music where people yes. can play that thing. And they did drugs and screwed too, so you can still be a, a jacked up individual with addictions and, and problems, but listen to some decent music too. No excuse. Listen to some decent music. No excuse. That's real talk, Dr. Short. Um, yeah, Wayne Shorter, um, yeah, I, I, I've got the pleasure of seeing him live at least 10 times over the last uh, couple of decades at the Hollywood Bowl. He was a regular at the Hollywood Bowl a couple of years ago. When the last time I saw him back, I think 2019, I, 2018, I kind of figured that would be the last time I saw him because he really didn't have the breath like he used to have. But rest in peace to a legend. Speaking of legends, 
we have a legend in the White House that's a legendary for getting on her knees and, and, and doing what she doing some little strange and for not, some political positioning. And, I, and not praying either. And Dr. Short, you saw this picture I put up yesterday. I wanted your opinion yeah. on this. This will be for those of you listening. This is in the background. This was a, a flyer at some club in Atlanta. And some club, this is very extremely disrespectful flyer that I absolutely love. Dr. Sean, I don't know what's your opinion on this. <laughs> well, I'm thinking it was like Gone with the Wind 2023, baby. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, it would be from Atlanta. I mean, at least it was a man and a woman. That's progress. So I need to stop hooting. <laughs> I like the look, you know, because it has mm -hmm. Kamala in her true essence, and it has mm -hmm. Joe Biden in, in his true essence. Of because you know, and that's true. And, and then, let me tell you something. Speaking of Atlanta, it's going to be like a lot of people's butthole down there split. Did you hear about the thing they want to divide the city up? No, it's go ahead. Like a white city. <laughs> <laughs> tell, 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 tell us about that. <laughs> well, you know, they're trying to find a way to create like an Atlanta. Not it'll be they'll be we call it something else, but it'll be separate where white folk get all the services and don't pay any taxes. It's a way to destroy the tax base and punish black folks and mm. show folk how you really feel. I mean, what part of nigger don't we get? You know, they don't even get it with the rope for mass incarceration or with pedo Biden or fake uh, um, Kentucky fried Hindu faking being a black woman. I mean, what do people have to do to say that they hate us? I'm not saying hate anybody, but at least acknowledge that someone doesn't like you. Right. So it's kind of cool down Atlanta, supposedly a city too busy to hate. And it's too busy to be straight these days. So it's kind of an <laughs> awakening all over the country. Folk are going to start finding out it don't matter whether you stand up or bend over. If you black, you're going to have to battle. <laughs> you're right about and that. And by the way, um, I'm just thinking... When I think about, I think I was telling you about Kamala Harris and the different things that came to mind, you know, about her, like, um, I was thinking about the board game that she probably inspired called Twister. <laughs> and, 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 you know, if she played Simon Says, he only wants you to do one thing. <laughs> Simon says screw. Simon says screw. <laughs> Simon says <gonna> keep screwing. <laughs> That's probably her favorite game. Simon never changed either. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, man. I mean, we've just been completely uns unserved by this lady. I'm so dis it's so disgusting. And, and like, in this photo is is great because what we have is a true degenerate pimp in office named Joe Biden that pulls and, out and the dollars what? for everything other than black people. So I think this and, picture and perfectly snap. depicts him. He's, he's cutting snap and health benefits, and they're helping these Ukrainian Nazis. The thing that gets me, and the only time he showed compassion, he didn't want to shoot down the, those, uh, you were told those were Chinese balloons, and what it really was was Stacey Abrams hang gliding. That's why he didn't want to shoot it down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stacey Abrams so, hang gliding. Yeah. <laughs> That's, everybody, you know, see white people upset? <laughs> <laughs> and, and in fact, you know, she's kind of got her attitude together, Stacey Abrams. You know, why don't you? Why? She ate all the chips on her shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lot of anger. That's a lot of, it's a, that's a whole lot of chips right there, brother. Oh, my God. Yes. She, let me tell you something. And, and, and the thing that's interesting, uh, you're out in California with all that snow, San Bernardino and everything. Uh -huh. uh, you know. <laughs> There's so much snow, human trafficking, and pedophilia's probably had to stop. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do tricking in the snow. I yeah. bet you they try in California with shorts on. Ooh, I got frostbite. <laughs> yeah, you can't trick. You're right. All all the hookers and holes are inside the house, and ain't nobody hooking mm, them holes. We don't do this stuff out here. Bothering people. And uh, anyway, and I also heard they took 1.2 million people off the voter rolls for Los Angeles County. Just in time for, for Uncle Fester, a.k.a. Karen Bass, and Newcom, or should I say Oldcom, because there's nothing new about that piece of crap that you got for a governor. 
that's probably how they won those elections with those uh, votes. Yeah, that makes sense. Now, I'm talking about votes because you know we're gonna get on. We're gonna get to Dykefoot. <laughs> you know we're gonna get on her. I'm gonna get down on that fool. You know. Um, ah, this has been a great week. This has been a great week for black men and for black people. It's been a horrible week for simps and pork chops and faggonists. Mm -hmm. And I just love it. I hope this keeps happening. I want them to come and get this uh, mayor in D.C. and the little uh, thing that looks like, um, what's the thing? How could I describe her? She looks like the thing that you whisk the toilet bowl with. The mayor of San Francisco. Oh, oh, we, oh, we need to get rid of her too. Okay, that lady with that and, kind of funny name. She has like a weird name. Yeah, but breed. You know, breed means yeah. to do some LGBTQ stuff, which she does probably. A uh, breed, some London new breed. Yeah, London breed. London breed. Yeah, that sounds like a sh- that sounds like a, a shaggy dog or some shit and like she's that. She's a pork. She's a pork chop breed. She's a mixed breed, too. How many breeds has she got up in here? God damn. Oh, my God. I mean, can you imagine? Um, mm, all I can tell you is this is such a great week for black people. Chicago is our largest black community in the country and black folk. In particular, I want to give a shout out to all the black women that are not pork chop feminist sellout studs. Thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. Thank for you. voting against Lori Lightfoot. I, I mean, I, I mean, it, you know, I almost want to go out and hug a bunch of people. You know, I've been keeping this, been withholding love and affection the way these coons have been voting. But they voted against her. She came in third place. That nice, so nice, good. nice. The nice. last time that black folk did that was to Jane Byrne, the little ugly stud mayor of Chicago. She's a stud too, I think who used and lied and dog black people, and she was a one-term. And so I, my hope has been restored in the political awareness of some black women that they're going to vote for black people, inclusive of black men, women, and children. So I want to do a shout-out to all the black women that got tired of saying that this chimpazoid cross between Mickey Mouse and Frankenstein, pygmies looking broad, and Lord of the Rings does not represent me or black women. I'm glad you said, uh, I'm, I'm glad you made uh, that point, Dr. Trump, because you, I want to make this point real quick. You, Before you. we go any further, I want to make this point. Um, the reason, uh, for those of you listening, and you may be new around here, or new-ish, this is Dr. Randy Short here, live with me. We do our interviews regularly, and when we talk politics, we talk real raw, and no fucks are given, and if you care and if this hurts your feelings or you wish it was done a different way and you wish the language was different, so we want to let you know very clearly that we don't give a fuck. So you can hold all of your you can hold all of your debates. You can hold all of your all your your all your anger and madness at the way we deliver this message. Uh, and you can keep those comments because I'm telling you right now, those comments will not be acknowledged. Those comments will not be noticed. Those comments will not be taken note of because we have a way that we do things. And if you can deal with it, then we welcome you here. If you was different, if you wish it was different, go watch MSNBC. You feel me? So that's what we're doing here. Um, and why are we talking about, why are we talking about a, a Dr. A, a Lori Lightfoot? We're talking about Lori Lightfoot because Lori Lightfoot is someone who as mayor of Chicago, she, she, she has not, done her job she has destroyed black america um she is she is she, she has people over here coming in from other countries going to the top of the list you know they have student they have they have housing in san in uh, chicago that they're putting latinos in in black neighborhoods they're t- taking over schools to make housing for the latinos and not the black people not only and not the legal latinos either the illegal ones so, all of these things are going on under Lori Lightfoot's watch. When Dr. Short and I started doing interviews together three years ago, we said these things were going to happen three years ago. So, now that we're on the other end and we were right, we're going to have some fun talking shit today. Because at the end of the day, we were right. And if you don't like what we have to say, go find somebody who gives a fuck. 
All right, Doctor Short. I, I want to give a solo, a, a sermonic solo to Dykefoot. May I do that, please? Go ahead. <laughs> if you give white folks all of your service, send black folks. <laughs> <laughs> Black folks are dumb And white supremacy has come Bitch best believe We're going to get you <laughs> Then you'll understand Cause we'll say Stud you done <laughs> Okay You done stud And and she's not the last In fact you know Um over when we, black nationalists, when we feel like this. We say, "Hell yes, I feel great. I haven't felt this good since Harold Washington won back in the '80s." To see this front, let me share with you that she's a plant, a total enemy of black people, a total enemy of black women being human trafficked, their organs being taken in Chicago. That black woman uh, who had her her door blown off. She's buck naked with people with guns pointed at her. Lori Lightfoot was on the police side of black women being disgraced like this. She had this cr crazy racist cop, head of the police, replaced the black dude who had one beer too many or something, fired and humiliated him. But this dude that had a special squad that were destroying black people's homes, properties, beating people, um, stealing from people. The Chicago uh, police, she used them as a Gestapo to terrorize black people. Dykefoot gave money to the Latin kings to kill black men, women, and babies. Um, if not another black stud ever has a public office in this country, it'll be too soon. I can't wait. She was awful. She didn't even look out for the gay people. I'm trying to figure. She was an authoritarian, like a lot of no good black women bosses, if you've had one. I'm not saying all, but I've had some terrible black bosses, female. And they, they just, they never understood that a good boss delegates. Their thing is to bully and show people I'm in charge. I'm going to fuck over you. That's my job to hurt you with my position, right? That's what they do. That's what they consider their job, being nasty and, and stopping and stifling people. I'm not saying all, but all of us have had an experience. I know you have. You worked in government, Dewan, and the person that would knife you, lie on you, betray you, and then when they would get demoted, they'd be crying just like Dykefoot is crying with her damn uh, Charlie Chaplin suits and shit. I mean... You would think that she'd know about an iron being in public life. But, you know, hey, <laughs> right? She was sorry. She, she did everything she could. She should have never won. She won with the lowest voter turnout. I was, and, and I'm not saying anything you, that I didn't see on WVON in Chicago. They wouldn't even record the show because I went in on Dykefoot so hard. They had these people try to shut me down. I embarrassed their ass in their city, on their station. Okay. Lori Lightfoot isn't even from Chicago. She didn't care. And she did all kinds of stuff. She's brought in thousands of people from other countries. They began putting places to create like colonies to displace black folks in Chicago. That's what she did. She did nothing. The murder rate went up. Uh, the, the theft of cars, every imaginable thing to Chicago, my favorite big city, by the way. I I resent her. I was hating her before she got in office. I hate her now. And I don't plan to stop. And I hope all across the country that we turn out and get rid of these people. But notice, she's a plant. Go to CNN. Go to CNN's uh, webpage. There's not one story about Lori Lightfoot losing. Why? Why are they ignoring the loss of Lori Lightfoot? They don't Why give a fuck? Being downplayed? No. Black folk are waking up. They're not voting. Well, you know, these stupid identity politics. Well, I use a sex toy and I've been <laughs> locked up and I smoke weed. Vote for me. 
That's not saying nothing about my goddamn reparations. I want my motherfucking money. And all the rest of us need it too. Lori Lightfoot betrayed us. And she's like all the other traitors. We need to turn their asses out. And that's why there's not a whole lot of hoopla about her losing. Because they don't want black folks to think that we can win. We can take these cities back. It's not too late for us to get our damn share of the pie. If not the damn pie factory and the trees and the orchards that the pie um, a pulp is made of. Um, Lori Lightfoot didn't give any jobs to our people. Lori Lightfoot, by the way, was just one of the most despicable, immoral women of all times. You know, what they covered up last year about this time, Lori Lightfoot was cheating on her Frankenstein-looking white female husband. With a dude she or with another woman? woman? On her, a woman. I figured that. And what happened, her girlfriend, her security detail person... Her, the girlfriend of her security person found out and tried to shoot her girlfriend. And I think they tried to shoot Lori, too. This is covered up. You know what happened? What happened? Lori Lightfoot's husband. Cause, and by the way, as I said to the young gay woman in my class, I asked her what was the difference between the boy she was messing with six months ago and the stud girlfriend she had now. And she didn't say anything. This is pause, nigga, you taking too long. Said the difference is he paid for pussy. She doesn't. And her fist is twice as small as hers, as his, but she beat your ass four times as often. Mm-hmm. Seems like you're taking a, a, a human rights and a financial loss to deal with that bitch. You know, she dropped my class. Yeah. And I said, you know, the thing that makes it bad is he was willing to subsidize you screwing the woman behind his back as long as he thought you cared about him. Yep. And that's how it is. Most of the, a third of the domestic violence in this country is women beating the shit out of women. And nobody talk about it. Women's asses get kicked. And that's the thing about Dr. Show. you are a good point because I know some, um, I have a I have some family member a family member of mine that was in a in a in a same sex relationship and that that particular family member was uh was pregnant and part of me always chuckles when somebody who's in a same sex relationship gets pregnant but that's another story what they was that particular person was pregnant and in that the same the per the partner actually uh made her lose the baby in a in because of a domestic violence situation and. This happens all the time in these mm-hmm. and, when, and when you bring this and when you bring this up, people want to say things like, "Well, you know, it's their choice to be." But look, I, I'm all with whatever your choice but wait is. Wait a minute, it's the man. I'm all with whatever your choice is. But when your choice, when your choice goes and turns around, and you're getting beat up, but shouldn't nobody have to be getting their ass whooped because they choose to have a certain lifestyle? The same thing with these police officers. The highest domestic violence in the country. Is with police, police people, police people work for the police force. A woman who marries a police officer, I'm sure she's marrying that man because she's in love and he provides a certain level of clothing, security, and shelter for him. Uh, the bottom of the uh, needs pyramid. Just because a woman turns around and marries a cop doesn't mean she should get her ass whooped because she, she married that cop. So when we have these discussions, people, I would need you to sit, like uh, people to sit their emotions to the side when we're talking about this. There's an extremely, extremely, extremely high level of domestic violence within that community. So when we address it, we going it has to be talked about because too too many people are getting their ass whooped. And as I was saying, her Frankenstein, Larry Bird looking white broad beat Lightfoot so badly they had to make her disappear for a couple of days. You mean that black woman lost a fight to? Oh yeah, that is a big white chick though. That, that she she looks like Kevin McHale. Man, man she she's like Goliath and shit, and she don't got no rocks to fling at her ass. That's no no. She's like a a cyclops crossed with Goliath and shit. I, let me tell you something. 
I even know dudes that are obsessed with white women. They wouldn't try to hit her from the back. You try to like use like a what's that thing called? A pole vault. <laughs> I mean, probably, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I just wouldn't try. Nobody would try to get in that. Can you imagine? And I, I'm just telling you, you know. It okay, was, I, just, I just put a picture of her on screen. Oh yeah. Yeah, if she opened her legs, she would think you at Sea World. All you need to do is put a a, a, a shell up to your ear, and she you would just the smell would already be there. Dr. the short. Just, whew, Jesus. Her teeth tells me she's from England. She has she has royal family teeth. That's a that's an ugly face bride right there. What's is, oh, is that oh, is that right. Mr. Bean? Oh, can you imagine? <laughs> She, her teeth do look like she could like dig the Panama Canal and shit. I mean, yeah. You no know, earth moving, uh, earth moving machine teeth. You know, you see the, the stuff that digs the mud and all. But that's that's who that's who they want. But that's notice, a man I would not like a, to fight. A very wealthy family, and they're all behind Dyke Foot. That's why the media is playing, and so that shows you. And this what a lot of black folks that are LGBTQ. Look at the screen. She does like sexual. she does like Mr. Bean. But go ahead. Look at the screen. She does like Mr. Bean. But go ahead. Sexual, sexuality coons. They think because they're betting somebody white and powerful that white people embrace them and they can use these white. Because you have a lot of Negroes with white lovers and they're using this and this gay thing to oppress black people. And the game is up. Chicago's the first of many places you're going to see this. By the way, I want to just say to you, just, it's, it's not related, but it is. The mayor of College Park, Maryland, just outside of D.C., got busted for possession and distribution of child porn, the first openly gay mayor of College Park, Maryland. Oh, shit. And he, he resigned. Now, it's interesting, like a year or so ago, the black mayor, who was openly gay of Hyattsville, tried to meet, I think, a white dude on Grinder and got his ass killed out in the park in Virginia. They said it was suicide because they, you know, there's a whole lot of gay violence and murders all over the country, and there is an agreement with the largest gay organizations and, uh, and, and, and the government and the media not to report on the Holocaust and the atrocities that are mm. gay on gay. Wow. And Lori Lightfoot was a victim of... of <laughs> stud on stud violence yeah. and that was covered up and this is the kind of misconduct and you heard about her saying she had the biggest dick in chicago oh i and remember this, that statement I, yeah and let me tell you something i was on wvon and there's this lady i don't know who she is she runs after father flager some people say father faggot but i'm well uh, i'm gonna say uh, hey, hey, okay hey, I, i'm just hey, gonna hey, say hey. this <laughs> that she, I, I started talking about how, how much I couldn't stand Lori Lightfoot, and she tried to say that I said she was a disgrace to black people, and she tried to defend her. So I says, "Excuse me, madam, you mean to tell me a black adult woman saying that she has the biggest penis in the city is representative for young black children here?" Are you? Would you say that you had a penis, the biggest penis? Would that be affirming for people? And the whole had to pause because uh -huh. I checkmated her. Try, try to come at me with some bullshit feminism. People need to understand that feminism is straight up Luciferianism. It's straight out of their call. Put that book up there and sent you, Dewan. People need to understand that whole thing about the witches riding in broom. The one you sent me through text? Yes. The, okay, the broom, I'm about to, I'm about to download like, that right now. The broom was the first dildo. And the mm. woman used to put all kinds of stuff on the dildo and ram themselves with it. That's where the broom comes from with witches. Oh, so there's wow. a whole connected between witchcraft, lesbianism, and feminism. It's overtaking our community. And every time I see something like this happen, I'm just so happy Lord Lightfoot lost. And Dr. You know, Short. Yay. Dr. Short. <laughs> I, before I put the book on the screen, I want you to just take a look at the screen and ask me, does she look like, uh, uh, th this is a former boxing champion, Ricky Hatton. That's how uh, Life is Girlfriend looks. She looks like he looks... This where, one, this, do I go to see, where do I go to see the picture, Dewan? On YouTube. Oh, oh, I, thought you were, I thought you were looking on YouTube. Uh, no. Okay, no, no. I, I just need to go to your page, Dewan D. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. 
Yeah, yeah. It, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is it? I'm on here. I it, see the uh, Kamala Harris with the ass that she well, wished she had. Well, c- click on the screen and go go to where it is live, and you'll see Lori Lightfoot's uh, girlfriend and wife, and the former champion Rick ha- Ricky Floyd Mayweather gave him his first loss when he hit him and hit his face, and his face hit the turnbuckle. Yes, and, let me tell you, but she looks like like Larry Bird stole the hair off of Robin from Batman in the '60s. Na 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 na. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, okay. You see I, I, I'm sorry. And let's see. I, I see the comparison, Dr. Short. I see the comparison. I see the comparison. I see the comparison. I see it. <laughs> yeah. French Lick, Indiana. She looks like Black French Lick, Indiana's Black. finest. Look at the stud, man. We're stud girl. You're stud girl. No, I'm Robin. <laughs> well, you trans today. Okay, stud man. I hope you hit my bat cave. Oh. <laughs> oh, Dyke Foot lost. Man, I can't wait until Biden's ass gets impeached. Here's a book The Occult, Feminism, the, Se- the Secret History of Women's Liberation by Rachel Wilson. That book? Yeah. There is no liberation from dicks, fool. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, 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 look. Come on. It's dick and pussy like peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> like coons and white supremacy. Liberate hell. Oh, man. Okay. okay. Oh, and look at Dykefoot. Oh, my God. Look at that face. That yeah, face. I... That face. Yeah. That Lord of the Rings face. That's yeah, that face. Like, <laughs> and, and that's, that's and, precious, precious, precious. <laughs> <laughs> to reset, to reset the room for people who are new, who are just joining us, we're talking about the uh, Uncle Lightfoot now being ousted as mayor of Chicago, and with the, re- the reason why we're using her as such an example because we are tired of black people being elected to screw over black people. We, you, Karen Bass, we saw you. We saw Keisha Bottom. Keisha Bottom was the first do- domino to drop out of Atlanta. She dropped. No, no, no. That was one in Baltimore who's the stud. Oh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about her. Yeah. Healthy, healthy, it should be called Homo Holly, but Healthy Holly. <laughs> so we, we, we start, Dr. Short, what we're starting to see here is a trend. Convicted. I was in Baltimore. And when she was, I was there. I saw what she got convicted. I was there. I was there in Baltimore. I had to share the moment. With the crooked stud just going, they're gonna get punished. This is so great. Uh, <laughs> so, Dr. And Short, I can't with that. and the oh. one here in DC has a house. How does she get a million dollar plus house with a, a, a civil service uh, workers? A, a, a civil paycheck? service job. Hey, no, doc- no, come on, Dr. Short. Let's I have a question for you. Here. I, I have a question for you because you guys have Muriel Bowser in DC. We have, uh, we have, uh, what's her name over here in LA, uh, Uncle Fester. You know, you got that 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 dude that looks like an in shape George Foreman as the mayor of Maryland now. That that dude that don't have no facial hair. I don't trust him. Oh, you mean? And oh, you mean? So, uh, wet, 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 whore. West Montgomery. He, he, so he, he, we have all of these people whore. over here with the black face that look black, that act black, that talk black, that that got voted in based on their blackness, but they don't do shit for black people. What do you see, Doctor Short? Is the trend moving forward? We see, we see, we see. Bottoms is out. Now we see Uncle Lightfoot is out. How's this going to work out over the next four years for these people? I think some. Well, one, the economy is about to crash. Okay, and a whole bunch of people are going to start going hungry because they're cutting SNAP this month. Forty-two million people going to get a cut. Um, mm-hmm. The face of homelessness in America will increasingly be black women. I'm not happy about it. But what has happened, and I have to keep saying this, and eventually someone's going to say somebody was brave enough to tell us the truth. Dumb yes. fuck black women who are so loyal to the Democratic Party have voted themselves out of employment and into the underclass because all of these illegals that they're bringing in they're getting special vouchers for housing that allows people 
to charge more than what people with Section 8 vouchers have, which means that they're going to kick tens of thousands of, and in fact, some of these are going to be black women with jobs, are going to be kicked into the streets. And this will have been done by Democratic big city mayors and governors. This is already happening. On top of that, a whole bunch of pork chops that were hard-headed, that thought that they could keep a side piece man in the house and get Section 8. They are suing and throwing these women out. We're going to go back to what we had in the early 70s. It was called the National Welfare Rights Organization led by a black man by the name of Wiley, where the last time there was any progress for working poor and struggling black folks was when black women work with black men to challenge the system instead of pretending if they just vote for this nanny state or should I say lesbo state system that that incentivizes the black family being destroyed, black babies being destroyed, uh, womanhood and manhood being destroyed, divorce, no fault, divorce and abortion. We need to get rid of that. And the what's going on, which is so beautiful right now, is that it says white supremacists always break their tools. Those black women and and simplified uh, fagginess black men who've been used to destroy us, they're no longer useful as they're working to erase and replace us. Yes. And so when people wake up, when these dumbass pork chop feminist holes are in the hog <laughs> pen like the prodigal son in the Bible and realize that you're eating pig doo-doo when you came from something, when you had a family, they're going to get mad. They're going to wake up. And they're going to do something other than argue with Passport Brothers and Kevin Samuels Ghost and recognize that they got to take care of business. Uh, it, it, it's literally here. It's here, reality. Um, uh, be, having a vagina and, and kids by people you can't remember does not make you a superhero. It makes you a statistic, a yes. casualty of, of poor choices. Okay? And what are you going to do? So in reality, they've been manipulating our people for a very long time. Yes. And particularly they've been manipulating our sisters. And in reality, they've crippled the black man. So the black man can't do certain things, not by himself. He has to do it as a collective with others. He can't compete in an unfair system. He can compete. But in an unfair system, he can't match. The other man. Now, this is something I'm going to say. I don't care who doesn't like it. Go ahead, brother. When black men look at white women's straight hair, and we, we admire it, those that do, black women are offended. But when black women admire what white men have and look down on black men for not having the same thing, it's cool. This double standard, mm. this hypocrisy of pork chop feminism, it's going to be destroyed in the next two years. Because the same okay, rate okay, that these okay, women are being well, okay. getting booted out, and they're gonna and they're gonna cut up this welfare state while they take care of Nazis in Ukraine, the black men that are viable are marrying out of our species, unfortunately. But they've been driven out by unfair prices, and all of a sudden, this fifty-year project of destroying Black America, they think that they've wiped us out. They have not, because there's some good sisters like the sister that 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 always um you always talk about that was on the martin show to china arnold uh, china, we, yeah, got, she's beautiful. we got righteous black women out here like sister eve like sister connie collins my sister sean here in dc uh my sister Cheryl. we got warrior sisters the wazis this is the age of the wazi and the pork chops are going to be ruined and they're going to have to start, you're going to start seeing sisters walk around with Malcolm X books and shit. Folks are <laughs> going to stop buying weave. Folks are going to lose weight. Folks are going to re realize tattoos are ugly. Being fat is ugly. Harriet Tubman couldn't have been a good conductor if she weighed 500 pounds. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine an obese, morbidly obese, pork chop feminist Harriet Tubman going she to would... people's house? 
She no, wouldn't have fit in the Underground door. Railroad because she would have got stuck. She would have got stuck in the manhole. So go ahead. Yeah, she would have got blocked. Blocked the But can you imagine? You just gave us one bucket of chicken. This is going to take care of me. And they said, "Well, I'm going to call the slave catchers because you eat this out of house and home. I, I thought I liked black people being free until I met you." Something. I mean, so you are you can't. saying Harriet Tubman couldn't have looked like Lizzo? No, she could not. Okay. This this is a modern, it's it's genetically modified bitches. Our women weren't like this when I was growing up. This is some something fake, and it has to be destroyed. And every dude wasn't trying to be gay when I was growing up, wearing skinny jeans. Pretty soon they're gonna have a little hole where you can like put a sex toy to hang out of the back of your jeans, and they're gonna say it's the style. Hey, Dr. Short. And either- I'm glad you brought that point because if you can look back at the back on the screen, they've been trying to push this image of black women, the, this chick from the Gatorade commercial. And I don't want to talk about her as an individual. She might be a very beautiful, nice person. And, but as a big dude, I find this as offensive that they get a chick that looked like Homer Simpson t- to, be, uh, to, to be in a fitness commercial as a representation of how black women should look. What do you think about this? Hold on, I'm trying to find it. When I I switch off, it you have to repost the picture. I don't see it. Uh it's it's, it's on it's on the live. If, if you go back to the YouTube live, I'm on the live. You I probably got to fast it. forward um a little bit. Uh, sometimes it'll be it'll be it's a slight it's a slight delay. Um, I know I I don't see it yet. Ah, uh, you don't see it yet. Yeah, because because I really wanted your opinion because what they're doing is. And this is as someone who, you know, I don't like to really get into what people, you know, you you be you, you do you. But at the same time, when it comes to the images that are projected, like I would never have my fat ass be the goddamn image of what what they should, what, of, of how people should look or be. You know what I mean? I do I do what's best for me. But as far as it, when yeah, I, whenever I, mean, I see but, them, but whenever they have big ass dudes woman. on TV, and that's a major reason why I don't do TV or I didn't do TV for a long time because. Everything that I went out for, they was playing me for a clown, and I wasn't gonna represent myself that way. Cause but I know, you know what, what they doing when they had when they have a big ass thing on, on screen. But when you put the fat black woman up there for Gatorade, what are they gonna say? More sugar? Is that gonna be the sales pitch for it? Because Gatorade is supposed to be for health. You see this on TV. You'll look at the talk shows, and there'll be a black woman the size of the damn studio sitting next to two <laughs> other women of other races that are in shape. And actresses need some goddamn discipline. You don't need to be the center of attention when you're that big. You know, when you look like a rotisserie boar and shit out of some medieval picture and shit. You know, like King Arthur's court, like something that people put on rotisserie. That's ridiculous. Hey, you ain't lying, bro. Yeah, yeah this this was offensive right here. She looked like a big ass bag of Reese's pieces while looking in this. Is, and this is this, this, this black women. This is that's them playing us when they when they put these images out there like this. When it's just the black woman who looks like this, and, and the white women and everybody else looks normal, they playing us. Isn't it interesting that white women starve themselves to death with bulimia and anorexia nervosa, so they look like Bob Denver off of Gilligan's Island because white men will ever want to be with a man instead of a woman. And yet, that's what the white <laughs> feminist will starve herself to death to be with, and tell the black woman, oh, you're so beautiful inside. You're so beautiful inside. Um, when is the Miss America going to be morbidly overweight? Can you imagine her trying to walk down the stage and shit break? <laughs> <There she is. laughs> Oops, Mr. You know, they should say Miss America. Look, you're not supposed to have two asses and three chins. And five stomachs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Short. So what we're talking about here for those of you just now coming in, we're talking about the what's going on. There's a shift going on right here in America. They have these Uncle Lightfoots, these Muriel Bowser, these Karen Basses, West Montgomery's, and all of these black faced people that look like they Why represent us, but they really Montgomery. don't. His and, name is Wes Moore. Oh, Wes Moore. I, I said Wes Montgomery. Moore. Oh, yeah. Wes Montgomery is a jazz sorry. is a jazz musician. Wes Moore. Yeah. yeah. Why, why would you honor him with that name? Look, I'm sorry, dude, Dr. Short. Work, you're right. He you're used right. to work with... Uh, he used My bad. To work with, he used to work with Harvey Weinstein. He did? So he looked 50. Yes, he did. 
with the Robin wow. Hood Foundation. I wonder what they were stealing. I hope mm. it wasn't childhood virginity or adrenochrome. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, because these people are sick. I'm laughing and you they said it as a joke. Sick. But the reason why, look, there's always a little bit of Ooh, truth in jest. And the reason why oh, there's a little bit know. of, the reason why there's like a little bit of, 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 of laughter within that is because there's always a hint of truth when it goes with, with these, with these politicians, they some sick motherfuckers the deeper we look into their histories and their past, yeah, Absolutely, man. absolutely. Oh, I'm looking at this lady now. I saw this picture before. <laughs> the lady that looks like she's praying for Buddha to put some, uh, uh, Put some mambo sauce on her chicken wings. Yeah. That's not <laughs> something that makes me think about no. <laughs> yeah, man. This Well, you ask me, I mean, please don't ask me my opinion. You know I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, I, I wanted it because every time I watch some sports TV show, I gotta watch this 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 big ass uh oval rolling around the camera screen as an image of black. As a kid. What do you mean oval? You mean she probably caused an earthquake in Turkey when she was working out for the commercial. <laughs> Lose the weight. Fat is ugly. Fat is killing us. When I was in rehab last year, there were all of these black women that had had their legs amputated and were having problems. And they had a room full of black women who were ex-fat women who had had diabetes and renal failure and all this from being big, bloated orcas and stuff. And, and, and they, did, they don't belong in sea world. It's killing us. Obesity also messes with fertility. You got these sisters out here, 300 pounds, wondering why they can't have a baby. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, man. And so, and the, but that's what they push with us. And that's what they, and they push these, Black folks that aren't no good for us, the ones they're getting us at all angles. And so, I know Dr. Short, you know, we, we're talking about uh, uh, what, do, what do you see? What's next for uh, for Chicago? And I know you want to talk about something else, but before we get to the next topic, tell us what's next for Chicago and, and life for being out of here. Oh, first of all, I want to apologize. You know, I've been so happy. I didn't mean to cut you off, the one. I'm just so happy they did bring the next slut down. It's, I can't <laughs> even keep it to myself. You know, that song I said I wasn't going to tell nobody. I got to tell everybody, I'm glad that whole loss. Now, Chicago, <laughs> you got a choice, brother. They got a white guy who everybody knows hates black people, wants to close all the schools, who basically wants to hire like 2,000 cops to just dog black people in Chicago. That's the answer to everything is dog black people. And you got a dude who's personable from the Chicago Teachers Union that stole some money to run this race. Ooh. And so you have a choice between um, a dude that like did some shifty stuff to win, to, to come in, and come in second place, and you got this white supremacist dude that hates black people's guts, who's dog black people all over the country. So I would put my money on the black guy that stole some money to win. <laughs> I, hope, I, I I'm sorry. Go with the crook over the Nazi. Vote, vote crook, folks. Vote crook and, and give the finger to the Nazi. And the thing that's really nice is that the Latino dude, Chewy, that they're not letting the Mexicans take over. I actually think you're going to get a man that's for everybody, but is unabashedly black. He's going to look out for black people for, for the first time since Harold Washington was assassinated. I hope that happens to Chicago. God bless black people in Chicago. I am so proud of them to turn down Dykefoot. Okay, I'm so, so that's what I'm hoping. Real leadership, God help them. Real leadership. Now, I know there's something else that you were talking about that you want to uh, cover today. You know, there's so much. Just Dykefoot just gets to me, but you know, <laughs> I want to say just that this this welfare thing. They're gonna cut this. Folks are gonna feel it. Folks are going to feel this thing. These cuts are coming. I actually think this is the beginning of Biden finally crossing the Rubicon where Negroes start disliking him like they should have been doing 50 years ago. Okay. That's that's the one thing I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. I'm also thinking about this stuff that they're trying to do in Mississippi 
where they want to say literally going to run the police and terrorize black folks in Jackson. These power grabs in urban areas where white folks are literally going back to black Wall Street genocide type political moves across the country. Yeah. And our folks need to wake up and, and, and ra- rally their arms. And one thing that will help them, that will inspire them, is they need to check out Tariq Nasheed's um, American Maroons on FBAStream.com. It's, it's long, but it's very worthwhile seeing. Yeah, I can't wait to watch that. I'm actually, I just, I just, I just, actually, I just downloaded it, the app, and I'm getting ready to watch that um, either tonight or tomorrow night because I've heard so many good things about that movie, and and I'm glad to see that you're in it. Yeah, well, it was fun. You know, Tariq is a lot of fun, and um, he's always doing something. And we need more people. He set up his own stream. We need to create our own media. I also want to do a shout out to my favorite new uh, director, Isaiah Washington. Yes. Uh, I, people need to tell him, don't leave. He needs to stay. He needs to stay and fight. Uh, we love you, Isaiah. D- don't let these people discourage you. We can gather our sources, our resources together and get behind people to, to do whatever we want to do. Yes. Part of being free is the choice to be free and to, to commit resources to help other people. Now, I want to say, go back to this Ukraine. This Ukraine thing at some point, it's going to, it's, it's, it's going south somewhere. Yes. I believe that this is going to be the beginning of the unraveling of the uh, Biden presidency on a level that they can no, no longer manage. Everybody's quitting here in D.C. The only people working the White House are the rats and roaches. Okay, <laughs> and so... I mean, I'm here. I'm just telling you. And then the other thing is, um, you know, that after Hunter Biden, that's really moving. The other thing that you need to know with Biden that's very, very, very critical is that the Senate, that guy Fetterman, the little no good guy who's mentally off. Yes, yes. Okay, who's in for depression. He's. He's not even, he's a vegetable. I'm telling you, you could put him in a bottle of Heinz and stuff and people say, well, white ketchup. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's gone. Okay. Like Hall and Alt, she's gone. Oh, why? Oh, why? Right. He's gone. <laughs> They're going to have to have a special election in Pennsylvania. The Republicans may win that. If they happen, if that happens, they'll be stalemate in the Senate again. On top of that, you need to know that Biden and them, aside from cutting SNAP, which is going to make a 42 million people food insecure. They're cutting the health benefits for 15 million Americans mm. while they're sending all this stuff to Ukraine. And while Biden is threatening the government of Uganda and all the African countries that they have to legalize gayness. This is what Biden's doing. When black people are hungry, when black people need jobs, when all of this is... He's pushing people in the motherland that they got to, like, get their b- b- behinds busted out or they can't get support from the United States. You may see the African countries turn away from dealing with the U.S. and get close to the Russians and the Chinese. On top of that, you're going to see the Russians make a move at some point. They got to bust some kind of move. Plus, you may also see Israel go to war with the uh, Hezbollah. Ooh, in wow. uh, okay. Lebanon, which is this is this is all this stuff can happen at any point now, and that's because the Iranians keep getting bombed and folks getting assassinated, and they're being squeezed. You may see a bunch of wars pop off any minute now, and everyone's going to get mad with Biden. So you may see some inflation worse in a few weeks than what we've got now, and that's terrible. But this is what. We voted for. Notice that the people that were telling us, just get Trump out that house. Just get rid of Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump Trump gives me hemorrhoids. Trump gave me uh, venereal warts. Trump gave me the clap. Trump gave me AIDS. Now that Trump's gone and all this bad stuff is happening to us, you don't see any of the coons that were promoting Biden as a bald-headed, racist, pedophile Jesus anymore. Mm-hmm. They're real quiet, brother. I can't find them. And be prepared for more violence. I, I heard you heard about the hookah. You, you Vegas, the hookah bar shooting, fourteen people shot. 
There will be more mass shootings. All this stuff is going to begin to increase. I believe you're going to see that as pegged to them trying to get a gun bill through. Hey, speak. Hey, Dr. Short. So a question just came to my mind. I, I'm glad you're on the phone. I want you to. What's up with all these Asians shooting white folks? What's your opinion on that? Affirmative action. Okay. White folk have been killing Asians, the anti Chinese rights. In fact, what happened 100 years ago, the white nations, the League of Nations, refused to uh, support an initiative to, to end racism around the world which is what caused the Japanese to become fascistic and start trying to take stuff for themselves. Okay. As well, you had the, ja the, the Asian Exclusion Act. So the United States government wouldn't let any Asians come here. So we're, we're in a cycle. Think about what happened 100 years ago. Yes. 100 years ago, Mustafa Kemal, or Ataturk, the father of the Turkish Republic, who came to power behind doing genocide against Greeks, and Armenians and Kurds. And then you have this big earthquake. Yes. And the Armenians, I mean, they've never acknowledged the genocide they did over there. If you look at the fact that Israel is going through its situation, you got rid of the Islamic Caliphate in the early 1920s. And even what happened in Chicago almost 100 years ago, you had the first black congressperson from the North Oscar Dupree selected from Chicago. Black folk broke loose and put a person in Congress. See what's happening? Yes, We're yes, in a yes. cycle now where you're beginning to see a metaphysical move of ancestors and other people. And so you're seeing stuff among black folks. People need to understand that the new Negro was in full swing 100 years ago. Yes. Okay, and, and, and by the way, you had a depression. We're headed for some kind of crash. What most people fail to understand was that the, the depression made a lot of Negroes start working together and standing up together and pushing. There's going to be a crash. And what's going to happen? The comfortable Negroes who betrayed the rest of us, they're going to lose the little bit that they have. It's going to blow their minds. Mm -hmm. It's going to blow their minds. Yeah. And those of us who are used to get making it, we're going to be okay. By the way, there's something else you need to see that's happening. It's even happening in your state. A whole bunch of people, a whole bunch of Taco Suaves are going back across the border. Ah, they can't make it here. Taco Suaves! Even with, even with our people being a race, yes, I said it, I said it. Dr. Short, you got to repeat that because... I'm, I'm, I'm still laughing at Taco Suave, so you got to repeat everything you just said, brother. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I, I, I'm saying that a lot of people who've come into this country unlawfully and illegally are leaving yes. because they can't hack it here. And it's actually easier to, you know, have your little tortilla somewhere else than to that try to have with people shooting everything. They, they're leaving. And Dr. So Short, that makes complete sense. That you know, what, you know why that makes complete sense? I'm glad you said that because when you look at how far they're going over and above to put money in the pockets, we're giving the illegals licenses. You're giving the illegals, uh, they, they now the can right become police officers. You're giving the police officers welfare and social security and section eight. That makes sense. The league, because if, if, if there's, there will be no need for this country to give them all of this stuff, if they were still, you know, like it was in the eighties. You have to give them that. If, if, if the only way they will make this kind of move is if they see there's some kind of a reason for them to go back home. So I'm glad you brought that point up. And, and they're going to be forced to go back home. You know why? Go ahead. No matter what they say, you know, and I know that Biden didn't just beat the hell out of Trump in 2020. Right. They have done everything to hide this election. You can't talk about stuff. You can't question stuff. This, nothing has happened like that in the history of this country. Right. You know he's going to run again. You see what happened in Ohio where they're letting the white folks die from the poison. All these trains crashing everywhere. I hope it's no illegals or people from Ukraine or Iraq or, or Afghanistan sabotaging stuff. But they're mass poisoning white people in rural areas. 
and nothing being done about it. Do you mm. really think that that's not going to come back on dudes here? I mean, it's mm-hmm. we're we're headed towards some kind of explosion. I mean, around food shortages. I yes. don't know if you heard Walmart. So it's, it's all going to happen. So I want to say to everybody, get yourself some garden seeds. I can't wait. As soon as they start, buy yourself some miniature fruit trees. Do something to have the capacity to at least have some sustenance for yourself, because this man Biden is a monster. He's a total monster, and the people around him are monsters. They hate black people's guts. We're in the worst place we've been in 100 years. Not since Woodrow Wilson that we had a person hate us as much as Biden. I, hey, y'all, and didn't we, I just say that last night on my show, y'all, for those who listen? I said Woodrow Wilson, 19. That was a motherfucker right there, Woodrow Wilson. Absolutely. Could you, absolutely. Could you give them a quick context of how horrible Woodrow Wilson was? Well, I'll give you a family story. My great uncle, Joseph Reddick Short, served in the First World War. Do you know that Woodrow Wilson and them did not give black soldiers gas masks in World War I? A whole lot of black men got mustard gas poisoning when gas masks were available to white soldiers. And we're the ones who invented the gas masks. That's, that's, ain't that some crazy ain't, shit? Ain't that, ain't that something that's, that gets better? The War Department under Woodrow Wilson went over and told the French to discriminate and treat black soldiers poorly in France. Wow. I'll go further. Woodrow Wilson did absolutely nothing to help black folks who were destroyed by the East St. Louis genocide and the race riots all over the country. He did nothing. Woodrow Wilson, his little bitch-ass wife who died in the White House, and I'm glad. Bitch. When Woodrow Wilson also into, segregated because black people can still work going, government jobs. Going, in particular in D.C. Yeah. His the, wife would go around and whenever she saw a black person working near white people, she'd faint and they, they just segregated. So generations of black folks lost out on jobs and opportunities because of Woodrow Wilson, who also screened Birth of a Nation at the White House to celebrate black people being lynched and murdered by the Klan. And when the birth of a nation came back out, the Ku Klux Klan exploded in membership into the millions of people when Woodrow Wilson was president. It was basically a dead a organization thousand... before that movie. Yes, it was. It, it went. It, it it got up to five million people when Woodrow Wilson was president. And Woodrow Wilson did, isn't he that walked into Haiti and took their gold and took it into Chase Manhattan? He invaded uh, J.P. Haiti Morgan in Bank in New York. New York. He, he invaded Nicaragua. He invaded a lot of places. He hates black people. He was a racist. He also threw, uh, what's his name, from Boston, the black man from Boston that was in civil rights. The name will come to me in one second. William Monroe Trotter was thrown yes. out of the White House, thrown out the window of the White House by Woodrow Wilson. He's a total racist monster. Out the window. So, And these are the times the that window. we're repeating again under under... Under this 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 uh, liver face bass that's in office, Doctor Show, we only got a few more minutes left. I want you to take it wherever you want to go. I know you have whatever thoughts well, you I, have. Well, I want to remind them that I, I, I still want people to check out my Cory Booker book uh, called Spartacus, the real Cory Booker. Yes, I believe if Biden steps down, Cory Booker will run. You need to look him up. He's an enemy of the people. He's like Wes Moore. They're all effeminate and bald headed except for Obama. Um, well, he's effeminate, but oh, and I left out and I, I, I and I, I want to hats off to Don Woman. It's just a matter of time before Don Woman leaves CNN. The only reason they have oh yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. because they have, a, they, have a, they have a class action suit against Don Woman. You know, because I'm a woman. Right, Don, Don <laughs> Lemon looks like he could be uh, John Legend's boyfriend. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah, well, I thought that was Clive Davis. Anyway, <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, let's uh, moving right along. So I have that book, and I have my other book. It's still good, and I want people to check out uh, From the Soil, if you can find it. Uh, that's a project I'm doing with Chef C. And, of course, uh, check out American Maroon. And I want to and thank everybody uh, in your network, I was able to get all of my uh, 
Clyde Winter's books for my library, my, for my research. Thank everybody for blessing me. It's because you can't keep up when you're trying to do. So I want to thank everybody for that. But then I want to say to people, begin organizing. I want you guys to pray for me because I finally found some local D.C. people that are not so cooned out. And so oh, wow. we may start raising some hell here. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, we want to take on Bow Wow. I am so glad I met a dude like this little um, Latino uh, taco suave sissy put his car in my mother's handicapped parking space, and I had him towed. And he called one of these taco <laughs> police right, right. came, came to my house and asked me if I had it towed, and I said, I did. I felt good doing it. I would do it again. And I asked him, was he intimate with the dude that sent him to my house? What's it to you, policeman? Real his talk. car shouldn't have been there. I mean, he put his stuff in my mama's space. You really think I let people treat my mother like that? You don't know me. And he was lucky. I was so angry. I was going to take my knife upstairs, have a machete. I, 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 but I just went up. Because that was my first thing, was get my knife. Um, but, yeah, people need to strap up. People need to collect seeds, make some friends, organize Rough times are coming. You haven't begun to see, but I'll tell you, tough times make tougher people. Okay? And that's all I want to say to people. Don't vote for Biden. Stop voting for that. And not only that, run. And, oh, by the way, I want to say that little punk Negro up in Chicago, his name was Gabe, who thought he was going to pimp black people. He lost his automatic race in Chicago. Oh, well that done, oh yeah, Chicago. that dude. Yeah, he lost that. Good. Dude. You mean you mean the guy from Twitter, right? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, that weirdo mother. That dude's been going around Twitter trying to play one against the other when it comes to black. He's been nothing but confusion since I've seen him around Twitter spaces. Mm -hmm. A ball of confusion. But you know what? He came so far down in the polls. Nobody's listening to him. Hey, Dr. And Short. So, before we go, yes, I I do have this last question. I do want to ask you. Um, when it comes down to us, black people, we just finished talking about Woodrow Wilson and we talked about mm -hmm. Biden and all the things we've gone through as black people. I addressed this last night on my show for those, for those, I want you guys to go back and listen to my point of view, go on my point of view on this, but I want to give the good doctor his point of view. You've known what we, you, 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 you understand history very well in this country. You've seen what we went through. We just talked about how winter is coming and dark times are coming. What's your point of view about black people's ability to survive these tough times? How have we done it in the past? And what's your vision of how we're going to do it now and thrive to thrive in the future? All unity, real unity, a real God, real men, real women, real children. Uh, share and invest in each other. All we need is God and each other and those that don't get it, don't waste time on it. You know, there's a little song that's saying you don't have to, if you don't want to go, you don't have to go, you don't have to ride this train. Those that aren't going to get it never will. We, we've got to accept some of our people are collateral damage. They want to die for a white dumpster looking white broad or it's a sister that needs a white, a, a white man putting a lynch noose around her head for her to have an orgasm. These people can't be saved. We can't save old Negroes that want to shine shoes and, and, and lick rectums for people who hate us. Yes. We need to focus in on the people that want to stand. And one thing we can do is support each other. So, like I'd say to y'all, support Dewan B. And, of course, you can support me, Dr. Randy Short, at, at Cash App. Send it's on the screen. Your, your Cash App's on the screen. Absolutely. absolutely. Just, you know, sometimes people don't read. <laughs> but anyway, right, 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 just, right, right. Bless, uh, but not just us. Get with Tariq. Get behind people like Isaiah Washington. We can create, which is what black folks have always done. We are a creative. We are creative people. We can take shit from, from pigs and make it into, uh, uh, it's much unlike pork. We can make it into a delicacy. We can skate backwards. We can even make racist America cool. We can certainly make our own survival and prosperity possible. We just have to want it, and we won't get there. I don't care who don't like it. You won't get there without God. Okay, I meet a lot of Negroes now that are atheistic. Atheism comes from racist supremacists on the left. 
and and Pharisees and this false saggy white Jesus Christianity ain't no use either. You need to know the most high for yourself and apply like respecting self, loving your neighbor, um, not stealing, not hurting. Live by principles and not by feelings. We got to get out of feeling and get into foundational principles that are true and eternal. That's real talk because too many people, when we talk about these topics, whether we're talking about Uncle Life or Kanye West or Joe Biden or Bron James or Jay Z or whatever subject it is, instead of people sticking to the subject, they tend to get into what they feel. I feel, I feel, I feel. Quick message to the people out there, and I say this with all due respect fuck your feelings. It's not about your feelings. My name is Chuck. I don't give a fuck. Nobody cares about how you feel. Matter of fact, you may feel something differently in three minutes after feeling one way now. So how you mm -hmm. feel about any of these topics that we're talking about is irrelevant. Exactly. You need to go ahead and get into the facts, understand what you see, see what's real, and go off. And if you don't understand what's going on, you have people like Dr. Short. Dr. Short has hundreds and hundreds of videos already online. Go back and listen to them. Dr. Short, we have all of our educators that are out there. What you don't know, find out. But how you feel about something in 2023, we are putting that to bed. If you feel a certain way about something, don't tell me because I'm probably going to hurt your feelings if you do. Go ahead, Dr. Short. Yeah, just find a few people that you can work with and do the good that you can it worked for nat turner it worked for uh the people that did the the lunch counter boycott it, the black panthers was two people find like-minded people find something that will make a substantive difference if no, nobody other than yourself and your family do that do it consistently find a way to make it resourceful Yes, we sir. need to stop expecting people to that hate us to feed us, to provide health care for us, to house us. That's insane. How many Jews do you think want Hitler for a landlord? Uh huh. You right about that. And he and he had some Jew in them. They still didn't uh -huh. want you. We've we've already seen what people think of us. I would never advise that we feel the same way about anybody else. But when a person shows you that they hate you existentially, then it behooves you unless you want, unless you're a masochistic person that wants to be exterminated and erased and your children, then you need to step off and do something for yourself. Like my, 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 my relative, Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, why can't we do for ourselves? Who said we can't? Why not? Amen to that, the brother. That's a, that's a great good. way. That's a that's a great way of putting it, man. Um, yeah, the good Lord loves those that, that help themselves. He helps those that help themselves. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, thank y'all again for listening. Um, you, you you've seen Doctor Doctor Randy Short's dollar sign Doctor Randy Short. Um, I'm, I'm at Dewan B, D W A N N B for those of you who can't spell. Uh, Dewan Brown for my cash app. <clears throat> Get my readings. You can book for my services, comedy, all that shit you want to advertise. Let me know. And we're going to end this like we always end it. There are no perfect messengers, only perfect messages for those willing to pick up the game. You don't like the way Dr. Short delivers a message? Well, you do the research yourself and go find and, and, and deliver it how you want it disseminated. But if you need the information, go ahead and listen. It don't matter how the person putting it out. You are mature enough. You are. I'm not saying you can be. You are mature enough to pick out what you need and throw everything else away. Or if it's too offensive, then you can, you're mature enough to not listen at all. All right? But well, we want to thank you all again for listening. Thank you, Dr. Shore, for being uniquely who you are and being yourself. We don't want you any other way, brother. Thank you. Thank again. you. Yes, sir. Much so, love. Okay. Much love to y'all. Y'all have a good one. My name is Dewan B. We out.